What's going on beautiful people? I am your Magic Shay. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing an entire Lush wash day routine. An entire wash day routine using Lush. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Um, if you're like me, you're probably like Lush on natural hair. Girl, what's you talking about? Uh, but I actually started to incorporate Lush hair care into my routine maybe like one, two years ago. Um, and I'd been using their skincare for about five or six years. But I was under the ignorant impression that their hair care, blah, 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 that their hair care products would only cater to people that didn't have my hair type. But um, I was wrong. Because once you start to learn ingredients and what like certain ingredients are meant to do for your hair, it changes the way that you buy your hair care products. So, yes. But yeah, let's get into this wash day routine and you guys can see what products I used, how I use them, and what I think about them. All right, now let's start off with this mud head top of mine. Oh my god, I need to trim my ends. Look at that. But it's okay because this mask is going to help bring it back to life. So I'm just going to take a bit. This is Swan Renoir, so I absolutely already love this mask. Um, it has fresh bananas and avocado, so it makes my hair like really, really moisturized and soft. But for my scalp, it has cinnamon and bay leaf, so that's um, going to be stimulating and it's going to help blood circulation. So you won't get them inches because it's going to help your hair grow. But it also has free range eggs, which are super rich in protein, so it's going to help strengthen your hair. So overall, it's just absolutely amazing. And I will say I do use the entire pot of this because I have a lot of hair. So if you have thick or long hair, you'll probably use the entire thing. But it is so amazing. So I'm just applying it on dry hair and rubbing it on my scalp as well and finger detangling as I go. Look at the difference. Hold on. Bam. The proof is in the sessions. The treatment is so soft, my hair it just falls naturally, whereas my current hair mm -mm, is dry, it's stiff, it needs love, it's knotted, it needs a good loving, but look how easy it is to finger detangle my hair even with just applying the treatment. It's like butter. And now I look like the weekend. So I just spread it generously throughout all of my hair and onto my scalp and finger detangle as I go. Especially since my hair is so dry, this is the first just easy detangle to help prep it for when I do the real detangling. This is what I mean by I have a lot of hair so that's why I take up the entire pot in one treatment. Um, there's no way I can really use less than that. Uh, yeah, this is what my, it looks like with just washing out the treatment, nothing else. Um, curl definition. My hair really doesn't have much definition to begin with. So anything that kind of brings some form of definition definitely is working in my hair. But I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hair out with my new shampoo bar um, with cinnamon and clove. Also great for stimulating and helping with blood circulation. So get them inches. And I'm actually going to apply my conditioner outside of the shower just so I can make sure I have every section and I'm not using too much conditioner at a time. I feel like I've tried this conditioner before but I don't remember what I thought about it. But it is the Retread and it is one of the heavier conditioners that Lush has. It's got avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed jojoba oil. So it's super moisturizing and conditioning full of nutrients. And then it's also got soy milk and soy yogurt to kind of get those proteins and those extra nutrients. And it honestly, I'm not going to lie, fast forwarding a little bit, I love this conditioner. My, my hair felt so good after. I already told you what I think, but what I'm just doing is applying it into smaller sections of my hair and detangling it with a finer tooth comb and then applying it into twists so that I don't have to worry about re-detangling my hair once I wash it out. So 
So once all my twists are in, I just let it sink in, kind of like a deep conditioner, but I like to apply it again outside of the shower so I can use less product. Especially because it's the same size as the treatment, but I used like about a quarter of the conditioner, which I thought I would at least use half or three quarters. So I kept the conditioner in for about 20-30 minutes and then I washed it out with cool to cold water. That is the key to any conditioner or deep condition. Um, but then I got lazy so I didn't want to do anything with my hair so I did sleep uh, with the head tie overnight and just kind of let it air dry. But my hair feels so soft. And like I said with putting your hair in the twists, I wash my hair out in the twists and then I do not have to worry about like a super detangle because all my hair got bunched together. Nope, it's still detangled from before when I did it. And since my hair is now air dried, I'm taking my $4 mist bottle. Amazon was trying to sell these for like $10. Nope, $4 at the dollar store. Um, so I'm just taking it and misting my hair to get some moisture back onto it. So I can, of course, get rid of any knots from the twists. And then I'm taking R&B, which is a hair moisturizer. It's got oat milk, which is super calming and restorative on the scalp and the hair. Um, it's got kuvuwasu and avocado butter, so deep, deep moisture. And then olive oil and jojoba oils, uh, moisturizing, softening, repairing. So tons of moisture. A little goes a very long way with this. My camera cut out on that section, but I'm just taking the hair custard, which is a styler, which is so moisturizing and conditioning. It's got cocoa butter, two types of vanilla, it has eggs, honey, beeswax, so tons of moisture, but it's also going to give your hair a really beautiful shine and some strength because it's got vitamin C from fresh grapefruit juice and fresh strawberry juice. And then I just use the fine end tooth of a comb and comb through to make sure my hair is just nice and sleek. And then I'm doing a three strand twist out. I do want to try hair custard just on its own because it is so moisturizing. But this time around with the R&B, my hair just felt so moisturized, so soft, so juicy. So once your whole head is done, go ahead and look at that bounce back. Ow. Um, and then I just let it air dry for probably a couple days. And I'm just going to take rubber bands because I kind of want to stretch it out a little bit. And I'm going to put rubber bands on the ends and just about the middle so that I can add a little bit of length to my hair. So my hair did air dry for probably about two days, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it down. Um, I was considered using the R&B as like an oil base to take it down, but it was a little too thick. So I just ended up using a coconut oil that I had. So I rubbed that on my palms just to avoid any frizz, and I'm just kind of gently taking down my twists. So this is the final result of just doing the twist without separating them first. Um, the front um, could use a little more definition, but I am liking these results. My hair is super soft. It is defined. Shrinkage is inevitable, so there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm just going to gently separate the individual curls. And what I'm doing here is just separating the curls at the end. So my hair at the roots aren't too frizzy, but the ends have a bit more body, so it's more kind of like an afro shape. So go ahead, finesse and tweak it to your liking, fluff it up, use a pick, tassel up your roots, do what you gotta do. But this is the final result um, of my twist out, so I'm kind of, I'm liking this, you know, it's not too shabby, not too, not too shabby. My hair is super soft, super moisturized. There's no like flakes or that crunchy gel gross feeling, so I'm all I'm here for it. I absolutely like this. Like my hair feels so good. This was a really really great wash day routine. Um, and products that I would recommend for you to pick up out of this definitely the shampoo bar because that is a staple. Um, that's the shampoo I use all the time when I wash my hair, and I've tried a few shampoos before, and they all just leave my hair feeling really really stripped, and I'm like it. And this is supposed to also help my hair grow, so I'm here for it.
I definitely recommend the Swan Wenwa treatment because I love it. Like it's one of my favorite, favorite treatments. The only thing is I use one whole tub in one like treatment. So if you're a person that has a lot of hair like me and $21 is way too much for just one treatment, then I would skip it. If you um, have maybe your hair isn't as dense or as long, then definitely you could spread it out through multiple uses and it's not so bad. The conditioner is new for me and I absolutely love it. Um, conditioners I find is really up to your hair. Like I've used so many different conditioners and not all of them leave my hair feeling the way I want my hair to feel. So $32 is a lot for a conditioner and like I said, I have a lot of hair and I use maybe just less than a quarter so it's not too bad but it's definitely the most expensive conditioner i've ever purchased so but i do really like it in my hair i would probably say that you could opt in for a different conditioner um one that's still deeply hydrating and maybe a little less or you may not even need a conditioner you could actually just do a deep condition like i did a hair treatment and sort of a deep condition because i left the conditioner in my hair for about 20 minutes um, whereas you could just do that conditioner step and you don't need the treatment. You could also just do the conditioner in the shower. Possibilities is endless, girl. R&B. Um, R&B I really, really love. I mostly use R&B if I'm putting my hair into like faux locks because I'll use it on my natural hair and then onto the braiding hair or twisting hair so that it doesn't pull all of my moisture. But $47, child, that's a lot of money on some moisturizer. Oh, God. But they do have a smaller size and honestly you do not need a lot at all like mine is about to expire because like you don't go through it as much as you really think you do because it's so rich and so buttery and then the hair custard styler I really like it with this I tried it before and it wasn't really doing much for me but I also just tried it strictly on like soaking wet hair so that wasn't the greatest. Um, but mixed with the R&B, like, there was no flaking. They're, they're both really soft. The definition was really nice. So I definitely like the styler, but I would have to compare it to a few other stylers before I say go out and purchase this one, especially it is $25, where a lot of my other stylers I either pick up for, like, $11.99, $14.99, like, around there. So I'd have to compare it, and then I can get back to you on that one. But it smells so good, and it feels really good in the hair. Um... But, you know, it's to be determined. So three that I would definitely say for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, pick up. Um, the conditioner, retread, the shampoo, new, and maybe a small size of the R&B. And there you go. You got a shampoo, conditioner, and a moisturizer. You're set. That in itself would be less than $100. Um, still a little bit pricey, but again, it's not like it's just one wash. It's going to last you quite a while. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below some of your favorite brands or maybe some of your favorite Lush products. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.